Stop getting speeding tickets. Everyone needs a bit of help with that. Sometimes the police position those mobile speed trap cameras in places that are not particularly unsafe or black spots, but just where they can make some money. I got down a couple of times in the last uh, year or so, one on a dual carriageway where it was 30 miles an hour, can you believe? And it was just before it narrowed to one lane. So I had to pull into where there was a gap in the traffic, just went fractionally over 30 and they nabbed me with a laser gun right over the brow of the hill on the other side of the carriageway. Didn't even see them. Picture of the car with the laser on the car showing the speed. And it was the only 15 second interval in the whole journey where I went over any of the speed limits. Seems so very unfair. All about making money and less about safety. It's fair enough if it's around an accident black spot, if it's near a school, park cars and so on. But sometimes not, that's not the case. Anyhow, back to the point. How do we stop getting sneaky speed fines? Well, this device, uh, which somebody suggested that I review. No, I didn't pay for this, um, but they didn't give me any money either. Uh, I said, yeah, I'll review it because it seemed like a good idea. Nice little device, rechargeable, battery lasts for a month, automatically comes on and off. You mount it in your car. When you see a speed camera or another hazard on the road, just press the button on the top to report it. That's the reporting. If it gives a false alarm or you accidentally press it and want to cancel or you're driving past uh, somewhere where it goes off and there's nothing there, press the top button, that one on there, and that cancels it. It's dead easy. Um, it's always available, always on, comes on and off automatically. So at about 50 pounds, What's that, about 60, 70 dollars or something, US dollars. Seems quite a good investment to help you keep your driving license. So this is a box that it came with. The charging cable is actually in the car at the moment. Got a, a USB-C to USB-A adapter for the charging. Some instructions and a nice little app that we see here that takes you through installing the device and how it works. And they, uh, I should mention the support is very good. I had one question on how you delete a report you made. The answer was um, that it basically needs two people to report the same speed camera for the hazard or mobile camera report to be permanently recorded on their map in the app. Um, if it's only you, then the uh, warning about speed camera won't persist and it'll disappear from the map uh, fairly quickly, which I've seen. But once you've set up, they also send you an email just to check everything was installed properly. Goes through the same sort of instructions again as well. And so everything went pretty swimmingly. Uh, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. Does it automatically once you've paired it up. Instructions are pretty simple. And uh, yeah, just plug it in or place it in your car and then you're off. And here's the device installed in this car. It's an MG4. Uh, it's dead easy to find any spots to mount it because it's so small. It automatically wakes up when it detects the car is moving, goes to sleep when it's still. And when it's awake, hopefully probably just saw a few flashes already. But some tiny little flashes, green flashes on there just to let you know that it's awake. And when you get near a speed camera, like a mobile speed trap or a fixed camera or an obstruction, it'll beep to let you know there's a hazard coming up ahead. If it's a false warning, shouldn't be too many of those, don't seem to be because it's all based on GPS locations. But if there is, press this button. That's actually what they call the top of the unit. I've got this upside down just for ease of charging. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. Either that press or when you see something, press that button. So uh, not hard to press it when you're driving. Uh, I've got my permit lead plugged in to the USB socket to keep it on charge all the time. Don't need that at all. If you've got mounted high up on the dash somewhere or something and you don't want to have wires trailing everywhere, the battery lasts for about a month. Uh, but on this MG4, I've got a convenient USB socket down the bottom there, USB-C, and uh, goes up through there into uh, the back of the unit. Keep it topped up. So in a minute, we'll drive past the speed camera that I know is on a local road and see if it detects it and gives me some warning. 
and there is the speed camera warning. A couple of blue flashes. Forty mile an hour limit in this case. There's the speed camera. I don't know if you can see that. Marks on the road. So it does work. And uh, potentially that could stop you from getting a speeding ticket. For mounting the unit, it comes with some little pads that have double sided foam tape on them. Stick them to your car anywhere. And then after that, they're just magnetically mounted, as you can see. So you can easily take it off. And if you uh, want, you can charge it in the house on a USB socket just uh, every month or so. And that's it. Quite a useful little device, fairly cheap. And uh, you don't have to remember to run up a sat-nav app or any other application on your phone for it to give you warnings about speed cameras. So, uh, yeah, good device. And see the buying links in the video description. Uh, you might possibly get a discount if I can find any codes for it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Put a thumbs up and click the bell if you want to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.